This is Tom and Paula Graves from Light of Christ Radio with a chapter from our series called The Greatest Story. You're welcome to watch this video simply for the story, or you can use it as the basis of a small group study. Instructions for the small group study can be found in the show more section below this video. Today, we continue our series called The Greatest Story, and we continue in our chapter entitled Live, and our story is from 2 Thessalonians. Well, Paul, to set the, the backdrop of our story of 2 Thessalonians, Paul had evangelized Thessalonica, a Greek seaport on the Aegean Sea, on his second missionary journey. He only stayed for a few months because of opposition. Even though they were persecuted, the new believers formed a church and continued to follow Jesus. So partway through Paul's missionary journey, he had sent Timothy back to check on this new church. And he met Timothy, met up with Paul at Corinth and reported that they were doing surprisingly well, but had some questions. And this is when Paul wrote the first letter to the Thessalonians. So a few months after the first letter, Paul, Silas, and Timothy were in Corinth when they got word that the persecuted church the persecution really had increased there, mm-hmm. and false teachers had started rumors about the second coming of Jesus, and some even claimed that Paul had told them that Jesus had already returned, and the Thessalonians had missed him. So the number of people who had stopped working because of this end-time theology had increased, and these people were a drain on the rest of the believers. So Paul wrote another letter to repeat his instructions from the first letter and to encourage the believers. They were to remember what he had said about the second coming when he was with them and from the first letter. And they were to continue to live out their Christian faith. And this brings us to a story from the Word of God. This letter is from Paul, Silas, and Timothy. We are writing to the church in Thessalonica, to you who belong to God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. May God, our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ give you grace and peace. Dear brothers and sisters, we can't help but thank God for you because your faith is flourishing and your love for one another is growing. We proudly tell God's other churches about your endurance and faithfulness and all the persecutions and hardships that you are suffering. And God will use this persecution to show his justice and to make you worthy of his kingdom for which you are suffering. In his justice, he will pay back those who persecute you. And God will provide rest for you who are being persecuted and also for us when the Lord Jesus appears from heaven. He will come with his mighty angels in flaming fire, bringing judgment on those who don't know God and on those who refuse to obey the good news of our Lord Jesus. They will be punished with eternal destruction, forever separated from the Lord and from his glorious power. When he comes on that day, he will receive glory from his holy people, praise from all of you who believe. And this includes you. For you believed what we told you about him. So, we keep on praying for you, asking our God to enable you to live a life worthy of his call. May he give you the power to accomplish all the good things your faith prompts you to do. The name of our Lord Jesus Christ will be honored because of the way you live, and you will be honored along with him. This is all made possible because of the grace of our God, our Lord Jesus Christ. Don't be so easily shaken or alarmed by those who say that the day of the Lord has already begun. Don't believe them, even if they claim to have a special spiritual vision, a revelation, or a letter supposedly from us. With all these things in mind, dear brothers and sisters, stand firm and keep a strong grip on the teaching we passed on to you both in person and by letter. Yet we hear some of you are living idle lives, refusing to work and meddling in other people's business. We command such people and urge them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ to settle down and work to earn their own living. As for the rest of you, dear brothers and sisters, never get tired of doing good. A story from the Word of God. If you're using this video for small group application, after you've watched this video, try retelling the story from what you have heard. Then read the text. Discussion questions are below in the show more section. We hope this will help you on your journey of life. Be blessed.